Hi, and welcome to another edition of Ram Country Conversations. Brian Roth, voice of the Rams, with you. Great to have you aboard and a timely guest here this week as we are joined by Terry Dezeau, Senior Associate Athletic Director at Colorado State for Health and Performance. Terry, good to see you. And first off, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit uh, about the newly formed Mountain West Conference Health and Safety Advisory Group. It's made up of a bunch of different individuals from conference schools. You are on that committee representing Colorado State. Tell us a little bit about that and your role in it. Brian, yeah, uh, thank, thanks for letting me uh, be here. And, uh, uh, you know, specifically the Mountain West Safety Advisory Group, uh, you know, that is uh, a new group that was formed recently uh, in lieu of COVID. And, and I think all the precautions that uh, everybody's looking at. Um, there's always been a, a Mountain West health and safety um, affiliate with uh, sports medicine professionals that dialogue together, but this is a little bit more structured and it's got representation from um, physicians, athletic trainers, administration, conference commissioners, and really the goal is to help drive the conversation and how do we safely get back to sport and, and navigate that at the conference level. You obviously have a lot on your plate uh, right now as the Senior Associate AD for Health and Performance. Hey, football is back. And I know there's a lot of college football fans rejoicing across the country, certainly here in Ram Nation, at least back to partial workouts, the whole team not back at once. But tell us a, a little bit about how that has gone so far and, and what kind of precautions Colorado State football is taking. Yeah, the, the team is back uh, in limited capacity. We've had um, really structured three different waves for our student athletes to return on the football side. Uh, the first wave was really comprised of about 30 to 35 student athletes who were geographically in the Fort Collins area. Um, and so uh, that, that process to intake them was a, a COVID intake test. Uh, and it was a physical exam, comprehensive physical exam, um, as part of just clearing them to be ready to participate in activity. Uh, the next wave was student athletes who are returners, uh, but who lived out of the region. And so bringing them back and having some spend spent some time in Fort Collins prior to being cleared. Um, and then the third wave is, is, you know, exciting. It's our incoming freshmen and, and new students and they're new to Fort Collins. So, uh, so that's been, been exciting to get them. And that's really what's, what's happening this week is, is onboarding our new student athletes on football. Um, so, you know, you had asked a little bit about the precautionary steps that we're doing. One is a comprehensive physical exam um, and including an intake COVID test. Uh, so every student is gonna gonna have a that that process uh, before they're allowed to work on our facilities, and then daily uh, and consistent with public health guidelines and our university expectations it is going to be a daily symptom screening, a daily temperature check. Um, really trying to create a culture of of everybody looking out for each other, um, not pushing through illness. Don't ignore those things. You know, be be aware, take care of your teammates, take care of your community. But it's been really good. I think the response has been. Um, been been great. Our our team is is doing a wonderful job in following the guidelines, um, and, and I think there's a general level of excitement, you know, on their part to to be back and Canvas working out. Yeah, I know new strength and conditioning coach Scott McLafferty and his staff, and really everybody uh, over there at the university making a commitment to get this right. And so far, so good. How about the functionality of Canvas Stadium? Obviously, it's a beautiful building. There's a, a great deal of of functionality within it, but how has this stadium, the way it's set up, helped you guys go about uh, bringing guys back? Yeah, we're, we're really fortunate to have a facility like Canvas, and, and when you look at the, the data around COVID and, and how it's transmitted and spread, you know, one of the things that's in our favor is we can structure a lot of activity in an outdoor environment uh, that's helpful, and so with Canvas in particular, we were able to structure a, a game plan and, and a workout uh, sequence where student athletes could have a one entry point uh, where they go through the screening, uh, a designated place within the field level to con to do conditioning activities, uh, transition up to the concourse level, which is a covered space, uh, so we don't have any uh, concerns with elements or bad weather, uh, set up a, a temporary weight room on our concourse, and then have a designated exit out of the building. So really limits the amount of uh, crossover and potential transmission with student athletes coming and going. Um, it spreads things out. And, and it's, it's worked out really, really well. So, you know, again, we're fortunate to have that facility and talking with colleagues around the country, you know, people are having to get creative on, on how we're doing this. And, and we got creative, but we had great space to be creative in. All right, final top four. What, uh, 
the things that I think about Colorado State, uh, they're on the front lines uh, of so many different things, but, but it's research here at Colorado State. It's such a great re research institution. And, and I know the university is, is doing its part with COVID-19 too, isn't it? Absolutely. And I think one of the things that's, that, that I knew, but it's really been highlighted uh, for me in this process over the last you know, 10, 12 weeks is, is the infrastructure and the capabilities of this university. It, it's really unbelievable. Um, and everything from the collaborative effort to planning uh, to get to where we are in a phase return. But, but now, what are the next steps moving forward? How do we monitor? How do we prevent? And so you know, we've been fortunate to have really good dialogue with the research arm of the university, um, exploring what, what some of those prevention and surveillance strategies look like. How can we integrate, potentially be involved in, in that um, conversation as well? So uh, a lot of good dialogue. And again, it's, it's just been really, really amazing working with our partners at the university level. All right, Terry, thanks so much. We really appreciate you taking out a couple of moments. I know busy times uh, over there at Colorado State and uh, keep up the good work. You bet, thanks. All right, that's Terry DeZayow, the Senior Associate Athletic Director for Health and Performance at Colorado State. I'm Brian Roth saying so long. Thanks for watching Ram Country Conversations.